So y'all know how in the last vlog I showed y'all the master bedroom and I was like, work in progress, work in progress, work in progress. Um, I think I need like three more pillows and I need some decor and I need to go to Home Goods. Well, hmm. we went to Home Goods yesterday and we found some stuff. And I was surprised because my husband was actually like, yeah, we should get this, we should get that. So, you know, that just fueled me. So anyways, I'm gonna show y'all what we got. And then um, we're taking the comforter set back that I showed y'all in the guest bedroom, even though I said, you know, it's good. I ain't worried about the guest bedroom. Don't ever take me seriously because clearly I changed my mind. So I'm about to show y'all what we got. And um, I'm gonna need this to just be a judge free zone. Okay, so. Unless you got something nice to say, don't say nothing nice at all, period. Okay, so master bedroom updates. Told y'all, showed y'all my mood board, told y'all we were going to Home Goods to get stuff to, you know, spice up the master bedroom a little bit. So if you have not seen the original master bedroom tour reveal, whatever you want to call it, I'll have that linked up in the cards. But um, remember I told y'all that I felt like I needed more pillows on the bed. Here's our cute little addition to the family. So it's cream background with like really cute black stitching on it. We also got a new comforter set. The original one I showed y'all was white, but we really felt like this needed to actually be cream to kind of like tie in all the pillows and everything. So as you can see, we're still doing the white pillowcases that we sleep on and then the sheets are still white. And if you flip this comforter set back, it's actually white on the inside of it. So it kind of flows. Here's y'all a little close up. So it has like little square details. It almost gives the vibe of like a linen fabric. It is wrinkled. I don't know who ironed a comforter set, honey. Um, and then I also got this throw. It's also cream and it has like little black stitching on it. So I really, 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 really like how the bed, the comforter set, and the end tables and stuff came together. It looks very nice. Um, <clears throat> and then I also I think I showed you on the mood board. I want to get a bench to go down here. So the bench that's on the mood board is kind of like a high back bench. But I think I might want to get one that's like as low as the bed. So it don't cover up the pillows and stuff. So we're looking for that. But it's not like, you know, major. But I said it about everything. Okay, so remember our California vibes that I was telling y'all about? The, what is it called? Raton or Rattan? I think it's Rattan. The Rattan beach chairs that was on my mood board. Baby, why Home Goods had to come through like that? Why they, why did they have to pull up? So look, so cute. I like the color of this. It's kind of like a cognac color and it kind of ties into um, the, in, the nightstands over there. And then you got the black legs. And this is the throw that I originally had on the bed that I got from Target. I just, you know, threw it over there. I want to get some pillows to sit in there, but like very small mini pillows. And then obviously get like a small little table to go right here. You know, to just complete the set. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, y'all, because I am. I am. These are actually Panama Jack outdoor chairs, but they doing what they need to do, giving what they need to give. Let me step back. So this is kind of like your rustic farmhouse vibes over here. And then you got your California vibes over there. Let me go to the right a little bit. We got our black planter. So you got a close up. The details on there and it's got like the little gold legs. And then this is the plant that we got when we went to home goods the other day. So like I told y'all, I wanted to sit something down in the planter so that this plant actually sits up a little bit higher. But honestly, I feel like it's giving what it needs to give over there in the corner. So this whole little section right here is our beach vibes. And then I'll show y'all in a minute, I got two black picture frames to go over there. And I'm planning on printing out either some family portraits or our wedding photos in like black and white. And then you come over here and you have um, a little bit more decor added to the dresser. So, <clears throat> Originally over here, I had this vase, but I found this little black figurine at Home Goods and decided that that looked better on top of the coffee table book because it 
allows you to actually see the decor on the book. And then right here, I love this glass see-through picture frame. So it kind of unsnaps on the side. I actually like the picture that's in there right now, but I am going to replace it probably with pictures of the kids or a family portrait. And then y'all, these little candles, I felt like were a cute little added touch. They're actually covered in, let me see if I can see that. It looks like bark almost. And they actually smell really good. It makes it, um, it gives it like a woodsy smell in here when you first walk in here. So I love that. And then this is the vase that I already showed y'all from Home Goods. And I picked up this basket from Home Goods as well. This was like $12.99, I think. Yep. Which I think is cute because it ties in our cream, our black, and then it's kind of like wooden type color. So this is what we're looking like over here. So over here is giving you rustic you know, between the candles and the dresser, but also modern with the vase and everything like that. So I got these storage containers. I think this was $6.99 or $7.99, $6.99. Um, I'm probably gonna put these in our bathroom somewhere, but I was like, girl, this matches your room too much for you not to um, buy them. So got those and then these, are the picture frames that I got to go over there on the wall. So, so if I put this one like right here, see if I can step back and let y'all see that. I think that this plant is actually already high enough and then just add the other one up above that. So I just need to print out, this is an eight by 10. Yeah, eight by 10. No, girl, I don't know. One of the two, 11 by 14, eight by 10. So got two of those and then I got these candles. So these are also sand and fog, y'all. I really like sand and fog candles, but I will say, um, and these are, you know, way cheaper than buying Bath and Body Works. But I will say, I will say they do burn a lot faster than Victoria's Secret. I mean, not Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works cameras, <laughs> girl. They burn quicker than Bath and Body Works candles. And I also noticed if I take the lid off and just have it like sitting out in a room, initially you can smell it, but the smell gives off, like it wears out. So in order for you to actually smell these candles, you do have to light them versus with Bath and Body Works. And I can take the lid off and it smells like it's already burning. But anyways, I got Cedarwood Vanilla smells lovely. And then I also got um, Vanilla, it ain't gonna focus y'all. Whatever, Vanilla Tobacco. I can't remember what this one smells like. Amazing. Anything with vanilla is good to me, so. Yeah, I got these as backups for when the ones that are sitting on our dressers right now on the um, nightstands, when those give out, I'll have backups that still go with the um, color scheme. And they have a lot of these out right now because it's Father's Day. So the current ones on our dresser is eucalyptus and then these will be vanilla. So yeah, that's everything that I got so far from the room. So I, li I hope y'all like the updates, honey. I'm sitting on the floor right now. But yeah, I hope y'all like the updates. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hey y'all. Happy Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. So. <laughs> so y'all, I decided to create mood boards for my home so I can like get my mind together with the stuff that I need to buy since, so I won't be so overwhelmed. So I showed y'all the updates that we made to the bedroom, okay? And they just really got my juices going. So, our, what do you call it? Living room sofa will be here within the next two weeks. And then I placed an order for two accent chairs and then new breakfast area chairs because they're just not giving me what I need them to give me. And I will show y'all right now, but our house is a mess, so not happening. But I also got this clear type not clear, but like a black see-through vase that kind of looks like it's a, the shape of a bottle of something. So I'm gonna put that on the kitchen counter next to the stove, but below the um, 
cabinet to kind of bring some black into the kitchen area. I think it's gonna be real cute, y'all. I'm super excited. But y'all, if any any of y'all are like in the process of building a home or buying a home or you're just redecorating, remodeling or whatever, it is so important to create a mood board. Cause you be having all these visions in your head, but you really don't know what it's actually gonna turn out like. So make your mood board so you can stick with it and have a vision of what you want. I did everything backwards, but at least I'm telling you, so you know. But also, y'all see that? My pack system came. I don't know when we're building it. It might be sometime this week. We might not get put together to June. I don't know. So we'll see. But anyways, hope y'all had a lovely Mother's Day today. I know I did. Because I got to go to Home Goods. I got to go to Pelicans. Get me a slushy, period. I get to have some steak. And that's it. Hello, what's up y'all? I gotta tell y'all something. So I just uploaded, um, video just went live on my channel, right? The one for like the nursery reveal. And in that vlog, I told y'all that, um, FedEx has not been delivering any of our packages, meaning the rocker, the car seat, and there's another package that my husband didn't get delivered. A delivery truck just, left my house and it said rider and i'm looking on the rain camera let me show y'all what i see um it is the stroller that is heavily damaged there is another package here for my husband which nine times out of ten is what he's been waiting for for apple and what is this it's a chair. Okay, so the rocker still is not part of the delivery, but there's absolutely no way y'all that I'm about to use this car seat that is damaged like this. Like, what the? So we just opened up the car seat. Y'all see how cricket this is? This is the stroller. It is completely damaged. And we were like, okay, well, maybe we can salvage the car seat. But look at this. It's bent right here. So there's no telling what other type of structural damage there is to this car seat. Okay, y'all, here's the chair in here. So I got one more coming, and it's going to go right there. And then the, ch the couch will be delivered next week, and it's going to go right there. And then we get, like, a rug, which I don't know what color it's going to be. But... Tell me if y'all like this chair or the one that I'll put on the screen. I think I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm telling y'all I'm gonna put it on the screen. But, and I also need a recommendation on if we do keep this, how do you get this stink smell out of it? It smells like fingernail polish remover. All right, y'all, we got all of our chairs came today, which we were not expecting, and they're not being delivered by FedEx. It was being delivered by like a contractors, look like regular folks off the street. So this is another one of those chairs. And then y'all, we got stuff everywhere. These are our new dining room. I asked you to clean up your mess. Oh. Um, dining room chairs, so. The heavy is about to take these out, but this is what this chair looks like. Y'all know what this looks like. I showed y'all on my mood board, so I'll show y'all what it looks like when we get them out. After putting that, what's the name in the, in the car? Mm-hmm. What was the name? This, the thing. For the show, <laughs> for the uh, car seat. Yeah. That is the thing. Yeah. That made me All right, y'all, so you know how I showed y'all the damaged car seat yeah. and that I had to order a replacement? Well, the replacement That's went to the same. I still location, so we still don't have that one. So we went to Target and bought one. We got the Even Flow Sibby. Here it is. And isn't um, she lovely? And she will be riding in here with me, pushing it. Is that right? Anyway, I'm about to test this out. Watch me work. 
Yeah, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's doing it. Mommy's a good mom. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? <laughs> All right, y'all. Huh? I got big hair. Tomorrow, the space is going to be filled up because we're getting our drum roll, please. Coffee table? A, 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 couch. A, a couch. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show y'all that tomorrow. I haven't really been vlogging like that because I've been really tired and not feeling like doing anything. So, yeah. Okay, good people. So, here is the chairs that I was supposed to show y'all the other day. So, how do I feel about them? When I initially got them in, I was in love with the chair itself. Obviously in love with the chair also on the mood board. But now seeing it over the course of a few days and then seeing the picture back there, I don't really like it. <clears throat> but the main reason is because the gold is like a very bright, shiny gold kind of like the equivalent to like silver um, chrome. And I'm sorry y'all, I'm trying to whisper because my daughter's upstairs on a session with her teacher. But um, yeah, I think I like the black, it's just the gold that's throwing me off. So I'm gonna go from here so that y'all can get good lighting. But these are also the um, centerpieces that I showed y'all on the mood board. I was able to find the exact same ones at Home Goods. Like, what are the odds? This one was $14.99. And the other one I think was $9.99. So I definitely like it. Like if you look at it from this perspective with the black centerpiece and the black chairs, it makes the table bearable, I guess you could say. And then when I'm looking at it from this angle, and I'm looking at the gold on the chairs and then the gold from that picture. I'm like, it's too much gold over here. It's just too much. So I don't know. <laughs> My mom was like, well, maybe you're just having a bad day. Like when I initially told her I didn't like it, she's like, well, maybe you're just having a bad day. Like just sleep on it, see how you feel tomorrow. I was like, pretty sure I just don't like tables. Woke up the next day and she asked me again. So how are you feeling about I was like, I still don't like them. So I don't know y'all. Um, I think I'm gonna end up taking that picture back and getting one that doesn't have any gold in it because I feel like it just looks very auntie vibes, like very 90s, 80s, 70s. I don't even know what era, but I, don't, I just, I don't know. It's just not doing anything for me. So then my husband was like, well, wait till we get the bar stools for the counters. So it's the cream bar stools with the gold but that goal is not this cheap kind of goal. So I don't know y'all, y'all pray for me, but these four chairs might go back or I might just go online really quick and see if I can find a new dining room table. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Okay, that's all. You don't need hey. white lady, you No, I like, you're trying to argue with me about the brand prices I like. Anyways, y'all, we have some updates for today. It's so exciting. Guess what came? The living room furniture. About to turn y'all around and show y'all it's lit. Here is what it looks like from the back. I will put on the screen what couch this is. It's the modular something from West Elm. It's supposed to be like Kind of like a dupe of the cloud couch. Y'all, it's so comfortable. But look at that. This is what it looks like from the front. Um, it does have a small like spot down there. I don't know if y'all can see it and one on the side. So they took note of that. But I like the way it looks. It looks so cozy in here. I'm so excited. And I was nervous when they first brought it in because I was like, oh my God. It's not the same color as these chairs, which I didn't want it to be the exact color. This is like, um, the color on the site was, it's a poly, hold on y'all, performance, basket weave, um, and the color is oyster. And then these are like a beige, 
linen um, type material. But y'all, this is what it's looking like. We finally got living room furniture, period. So now the only thing we need to do in here, or not the only thing we need to do in here, um, Hubs is about to order a frame TV to go up here. And then um, we wanna see about having somebody come and do built-ins on each side, but depending on how much it costs, I could just bite the bullet and buy like some nice credenzas to go over there, but I kind of would like built in, so we'll see. And then over there in that corner, I have some decor that needs to go on the table. So the only thing we're really missing is the circle, um, what you call it, coffee table that I showed y'all on the mood board. And then I thought about doing a rug in here, but I'm not sure if I want a rug, because I feel like if I add a rug, it makes the space look more, <clears throat> excuse me, filled versus when you, you're able to see the floor, it makes the space look a little bit bigger. Hopefully that makes sense, but let me step back and let y'all see again. It looks so cozy over there. Oh, I love it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Purr. Remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Wait, don't say any, what is the saying? Don't say nothing at all. Yeah, there we go. So y'all, another thing. So when you look at it from this view, and it's gonna get darker obviously because I'm facing the um, window. Now that we have this in here, we can kind of figure out what color we want to go out there on the deck. So we're planning on getting, um, you know, see that? Right now we just have the blue chairs from the old house. Um, which clearly clash. So now we can start looking at patio furniture that we want to go out here so we can start entertaining until we get our backyard done. So that's also on the list. And then I forgot to mention that these two things right here, they're cute, they go, but I don't know if I want them to stay in here. So we will see, but yeah, it's the only updates I have in here. So I also forgot to show y'all the decor um, that I've been accumulating. So this little thing right here is what I'm gonna put on the coffee table on top of, I think I'm putting this in here. I don't know y'all, but this was $24.99 from Home Goods. I just thought this was really cute. And then this thing right here, y'all, absolutely love this. This was only $12.99, how this is less or half the price than this, I do not know. And then I also got this vase. So whenever we do the built-ins, a lot of this, not a lot of this, cause it's only three pieces. And that little clear lantern thing I already um, had, I use as like holiday decor. But yeah, once we get the built-ins put in, I'll probably put some of that gold stuff up here. Um, so between these three things or these four things, is bringing some of the gold over here to this side. And then obviously we'll have to bring the black over here with the um, coffee table book and stuff and then the pictures that I want to get to go over here in these little nook areas so period so as y'all can tell I'm super excited about this living room because I was so sick of it being so much open space in here but now we finally have furniture so make sure y'all stay tuned because now we're gonna be really decorating in here and y'all got to see a lot on this wall updates to the living room Updates to the breakfast area, updates to the master bedroom. Like, what more could you ask for? But yeah, um, until next time, y'all, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see y'all in the next video.